to our discussion segment. The Nigeria's gross domestic uh, product grew by 3.46% year-on-year in the real terms in the fourth quarter of 2023, as released by National Bureau of Statistics uh, recently. And now joining me to discuss that is the... Uh, uh, a certified accountant, a fellow of Nigerian Institute of Taxation and Administrator, who has uh, authored many books uh, on business and lots more, uh, Professor Ezekiel Adam Williams. Uh, it's good to have you on the program, Prof. Thank you very much for having me. First of all, let's look at, uh, I, I believe you must have seen the GDP uh, figures, and uh, it shows that uh, uh, from 2.5%, 4% to 3.46% uh, uh, growth of 0.92%. Uh, 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 what does this imply for uh, our economy in real terms? And how does this translate to progress to the common man on the street? That's a good one. Because the only parameter we can use to measure the improvement of the economy that affects the masses is basically on the GDP. The, the gross uh, domestic uh, products, which have, have to entail the totality of the final uh, goods and services that have been produced uh, within the nation at a, a specific time. So that is telling us that in view of the facts of the policies of the government of uh, our president, uh, President Bola Tinimbu, and a lot of improvements, um, in, the, in the system, in the economic system, uh, we're going to look at the nominal value of, uh, of the GDP. The uh, reason being, the, the, the fact of the issues of uh, the removal of subsidy is one of them, because uh, before you actualize the GDP, you should have uh, deducted that, and that there's no subsidy um, removing the gross uh, factor sector. We have a liberalization of the economy, space, and then we have been able to bring in you know, foreign investments. Uh, we have the involvement of viable financial systems, increase in capital accommodation and financial inclusion. And then uh, we, have the, we have the actualization of, uh, of uh, more realistic uh, exchange rates. And this cumulatively makes to, to the situation of the increase of which we are seeing now. Okay, how does this growth impact on uh, the common man on the street? Yeah, the growth yeah, in the long run will impact positively. Uh, by the time uh, there is a cushion effect factor that will continue to improve uh, the GDP ratio. And of course, we should know that Nigeria, despite um, its population size, is still the highest in Africa in terms of GDP. Uh, yes, it's the highest. In fact, Nigeria is within 30 to 33 countries in the whole world. So you can see that uh, if, uh, what we need to do is for us to repair the government and assure you the best of what is going to happen will come to Nigeria by the grace of God. Uh, the services sector appears to be one of uh, the major drivers of this growth. Uh, and which is, uh, uh, when you look at it, is from the non-oil sector. Uh, uh, how, how, how do we sustain this effort, uh, looking at uh, agriculture yeah. uh, and uh, industry as well? How do we sustain yes, this? Yes, really. If you look at, as you have said, if you look at uh, the, 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 the constituent of what makes the increase in the GDP is basically the industry sector and the service sector. The, in the service sector, in view of the liberalization of uh, professionalism, uh, we see experts, you know, coming in and Nigeria, uh, you know, in view uh, uh, practicing globally uh, with um, uh, with the professionals. So we will be able to attract um, the service industry, the, the, the financial industry. We see the service unit as well. We can see the liberalization of uh, you know the sector. So this has inputted a lot. And the acric, acric, the acric sector, as we mentioned, we are making progress, at least for the first time in the history of Nigeria. Mm. We can beat our chest that we are feeding ourselves. Yes. Uh, it, but, well, yeah, are we are actually feeding it, ourselves? Yeah, we are. We are because, um, you see, the rice importation is you, 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 are, you, are, you are bringing it illegally. But, but the, the, the price of rice has, has, has really gone up. 
Hello? The, the, the price of rice has Hello? really gone up with yes, other the price uh, of rice is agricultural going up. produce. The reason, yeah, the reason why it is going up is because it is a real price of what we're supposed to pay. Prior to this time, we have been paying price for student products. This is the actual price we're supposed to pay. But what we need now is the government should be able to, you know, um, the, you cannot completely remove subsidy in all key sectors. Like the, 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 the agri for instance, there should be a cushion effect of subsidizing the major input of production. And like the okay. fertilizers, like the, the machinery inputs, those are, those are necessities that government has to uh, subsidize so that... Okay. Uh, uh, we can be able to cushion a little bit and stabilize the price. Well, when you look at the GDP growth, again, is a far cry from uh, uh, the targeted uh, uh, $1 trillion economy that the federal government is trying to see that uh, it ha uh, has achieved. Uh, so what, what, what do we need to do to get in that position so that we can achieve the $1 trillion dollar, uh, or dollars uh, target? Yes, actually... When you look at the input of GDP, we're talking about production. We're talking about um, uh, a, a production in terms of earnings. So what we need to do is to improve the earning capacity because when we talk about uh, you, you might have a higher rate of uh, GDP, but when you look at the GDP per capita, by the time you divide it by the total population of, in Nigeria, you will that we are getting about uh, two hundred something dollars, you know, all relevant sectors that has to do with the production and stabilize the price. And um, once that is done, the exchange rate has to be stabilized, definitely, and then we we'll cushion back all the, fa the, the factors that and the aspect of the key sectors of the economy, the agric sector, the education sector. Um, the, uh, the 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 health sector and our relevant sectors that has the direct impact on the on on the population. Once that sector is is stabilized and improved upon, particularly through the security aspect of it, because uh, for one to come in and in, invest, the security aspect of the aspect must well, be assured, and that has to be done. But okay. with the facts on ground. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what part do you think that uh, the private sector should play in driving uh, uh, our economic growth? Yeah, the private sector has a very key role to play because uh, um, uh, there are factors to play in the issue of integration and economy. And um, of course, you know that, as I earlier said, that without them being, uh, you know, secure properly, the sector being, they, they cannot be able to perform well. So the government policy also needs to come in to assist them to perform. If you look at the coupon rate, the interest rate is relatively very high, and these are the factors. If you equally look at what we are talking about here, we are not we are talking about the the nominal GDP. By the time you, you go to the, the, the real GDP, which we consider the inflation before you compete the real GDP, you will find out that uh, it, will, it, will, it will attenuate, it will come down. So we need to also make sure that uh, we struggle to ensure that we have a single digit of, uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, in, in our inflation so that we can be able to stabilize the uh, economy for the private sector to, to pray properly. Okay, which other, which other sector do you think is underperforming at this point in time? Uh, because already we have the service sector, uh, the, what, the industry sector driving uh, good growth so far. So which sector do you think is underperforming? And what do we need to do to really uh, get it to uh, give us the desired uh, 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 growth? As really, what you should also have to know, too, is that the government um, revenue is also considered in the measurement of GDP because the consumption of government is also part of the empirical formula that we use in the computation of GDP. So we need to improve in our 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 revenue generation. Okay. Already the, the the template is set, and then by, by the by the present government, and as they continue to you know ensure that they follow up and they continue in the direction they are going. Very soon, um, 
you shall be well. Because uh, we need to also make sure that the the revenue uh, sector is also improved. The fact of which I need to let you know as well, because we talk to the public, is that when we are talking about the GDP, we are talking about the total population size. And assuming that my population size is not the actual population size. The last census we had was uh, 2006. And if you looked at the figure that we are having, we still within, we are, they, they are using in the computation of uh, the GDP is about 12 and something million people. How actual are we? How sure are we? You know, because when you looked at the population, like, like for instance, South Africa, South Africa is small in population. And that's why their they are, they are, they are, they are, they are GDP per capita is low. Even though Nigeria position is better than South Africa position Professor in the land of... Uh, but, yes, sir. Uh, uh, well, if we kind of do a comparative analysis now, uh, we've seen uh, the situation in the country. And uh, when you look at other countries like the UK uh, are now in recession... So what do we do at this point in time to make sure that we keep this growth on track and make sure that we don't slide into uh, a recession, uh, just like uh, the way we've seen in the uh, uh, UK? Yeah, what we need to do is to make sure that we keep on increasing our GDP. The factors that made us arrive at this point, we sustain it and make sure that we improve on it and encourage the policy to move on. Okay. Even though they are distressed, you are distressed. See, number one in the issue of GDP. It has seen number one. The only thing is that the growth rate of, of, of U.S. has dropped to 2.06%. Okay, 2 uh, Prof, I'm afraid, I'm afraid they, uh, I think uh, we'll leave it here. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Ezekiel Adam Williams. It's been a pleasure having you in the program. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.